live in God, and God lives in them. the kindest, most intelligent, polite and loving child I've ever met. Apologies to my nieces and nephews of course. <laughs> and now he is our very own grandson. Welcome to St. Mary's. Welcome on this, a very special day for Aunt Harad and Corin. Today, these two have come to join their lives together. And they have all the best lines in the service as they make their vows and their promises to each other. And sometimes the congregation can feel a little bit like spectators. So let me suggest two ways in which you can join in with this service. The first is obviously to join in with our hymns, to lift the roof, to sing to God in praise for these two and their life together. But secondly, take the love for Ankarad and Corin that's brought you here to share this day. Take that love and offer it to God as a prayer for these two and their life together. And that love offered to God on their behalf will be as good a prayer as any that is said in words. Oren, will you take Ankarad to be your wife? Will you love her, comfort her, honour and care for her? And forsaking all others, be faithful to her as long as you both shall live. I will. Ankarad, will you take Corin to be your husband? Will you love him, comfort him, honour and care for him, 
and forsaking all others, be faithful to him as long as you both shall live. I will. I currently would take you and Hara Jane to be my wife, to have and to hold for this, from this day forward, for better, for worse, for richer, for poorer, in sickness and in health, to love and to cherish as long as we both shall live. God and before this congregation, Corin and, and Harad have given their consent and made their marriage vows to one another. They have declared their marriage by the joining of hands and by the giving and receiving of rings. I proclaim that they are therefore husband and wife. Those whom God has joined together, let no one put asunder. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. I'm already deviating because um, Christine's asked me to say how wonderful everybody looks today. So that, that's that, that's my first that's my first wing in it. Thank you very much for coming. It's it's a very special day this, and all I all I ask from you is that you really enjoy yourself. Lay your hair down, especially when the music starts, and enjoy yourself. That's the main. Yeah, I'm officially your stepmom now. Ha! That's evil starting right now. Mm -hmm. She's a credit to him. Nice nature, a bit of her in this 
before we like to uh, invite Colin to our family, but I suppose I should thank him for giving me my spare room back. <laughs> I hope that Angharad and Colin have a very long and happy marriage based on love, respect and trust. It has worked for us and it will work for you. I'd now like to thank my groomsmen for the help today because they have been running around a lot, especially this morning with the trousers. No matter how far apart we've lived, even when he was on the other side of the world, we literally spoke pretty much every day. I do have always been able to rely on whenever I've needed him, and he's a lad that's always been able to annoy me as well, on the drop of a hat. And now to introduce you to my other best man, Andy. One of my best friends for over 22 years now, and probably one of the only people in my life who I've never even had a mind falling out with. More than that, he's been there to support me through absolutely everything I've ever been through from the age of four, so thank you to Andy for that. Thank you everybody for being here today. It wouldn't be the same without you here, although it would have been a bit cheaper. <laughs> but seriously, on behalf of us both, thank you all for the gifts and cards and for being here. We really appreciate it. I'm so proud today, you know, honestly, I really am. I didn't think I, I would, could feel like this, but I feel really great and I'm not taking any notes of this at all. <laughs> He's genuinely such a great guy. Um, you know, he's been such a good mate over the years, from you know, from a friend to a dad to and now a husband. He really is a great guy. Actually, as well, I've dug out a picture of Corin go go into the tip. So. Um... <laughs> A wonderful couple. Um, you are generous with your time. You are absolutely kindness itself. You've always got time for my children. Pair of them, they're just meant to be together. I tell everybody, everyone I meet, I just say, that is the relationship, that's how relationships should be. They're just beautiful together. Just things like when they're cooking meals at my house, now again. <laughs> <laughs> they're just laughing and cooking together, and it's just amazing. And then one night they were going, and he was giving her a piggyback down to the car and just laughing their heads off. And it's just like, too sweet, it's beautiful. It really is. I'd now like to thank the gorgeous bridesmaids. It's lovely for us both to have my little sister Indy as bridesmaid today. I'm sure you'll all agree she looks gorgeous. Thank 
you so much for always being there for Angharad no matter what and for all the help you've given us preparing for today. A toast to my beautiful wife. It's going to take some getting used to calling you that. As to me, you've been angry from the tip since we were 13. <laughs> from that, you've been the girl who at 15 I was sat with outside Carmen's house while you were throwing up after one too many cans of white lightning. <laughs> to the girl at 18 whose nose I accidentally popped in cruise, which isn't as bad as it sounds, sounds worse than it is. Um, to the woman who I met again at 20, who picked me up and pieced me back together when I needed it most. Aww. To the woman who very soon after I fell in love with. And to the woman who has helped me raise my wonderful little boy over the past six years. <laughs> we both love you more than I think you know. There have been countless times in my life where I've been uncertain. From small decisions to big decisions, I'm sure the last known as picking the suits and stuff. Uh, all of which you've supported me through. I've always had a habit of overthinking and second-guessing my own decisions. Having said that, the one thing I have never been uncertain of is you. If there is anything in this world I am sure of, it is that I am meant to be with you.